and welcome to Hold an Evening Prayer here at Faith Lutheran Church. This year we are lamenting through Lent together as we rest in God's promises. Each week we've had an opportunity to reflect on uh, lament with members of our congregation, sharing stories of history and artwork. Uh, and this week we have a prayer that Karen Dean found and wants to share with us. And it reminds us that that prayers of lament are prayers where we come to God with our sorrow, with our anger and frustration, and we look to God for hope and trust. So may this night be a time of prayer for you as you lament and as you rest in God's grace. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness, and shine within your people
this time we're going to join in singing our psalmody and canticle. It is Psalm 141, as we sing, envision our prayers rising up like incense. I will lead group one, and Kelly and Jacob will lead group two. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. For our midweek Lenten services this year, we're inviting members of our congregation to share their reflections on lament and to use history and artwork and literature and prayer. Tonight, Karen Dean has found a beautiful prayer to share with us along with her reflection of lament. Lament for pandemic. For those who are lost, we mourn. For all that is broken, we cry out. With those who weep, we weep. Suffering, Suffering servant, servant, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are alone, we invite your presence. For we who are trapped inside, we ask your freedom. For those without a safe place, we beg your perfection. Help, Help of the helpless, helpless shelter, shelter your people. people. For those who labor on our behalf, healing, Tending, delivering, we give thanks. For those whose work has been taken, we ask provision. For those to whom the world looks for guidance, we entreat your wisdom. Shepherd, Shepherd guide, guide us, us through, through this shadow of death. death. For all that is obscured, we ask for light. From all our selfishness, we repent. From all our anxiety, we turn. God, God of love, love cast out our fear. An angel. 
angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here, and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you. is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and holy one, humbling the proud of heart. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of We now join in singing our litany and prayers. We join together in singing our prayers, lifting them up to God. We'll begin with Jean playing through an intro on the piano. Then we will hum the melody together and then join in singing. Justice. 
Jesus might guide them. God, our mercy, hold us in the all of creation. God of mercy, hold us in love. Keep watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. God of mercy, hold us in Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Amen. Father, who art Amen. in heaven, hallowed Amen. be thy name. Thy Amen. kingdom come, thy Amen. will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path. For all of our days. Amen. Thank you again for worshiping with us tonight, and a special thank you to Karen Dean for sharing that lament with us. This Sunday, we will be in person again for worship. We had a wonderful service this last Sunday. Uh, we will have seating in the sanctuary and in the entryway and overflow in the great room as well. Uh, come join us this Sunday if you're able. If not, do worship with us online, 930. This Sunday, we're going to read from Jeremiah and the Gospel of Matthew as we reflect on the Israelites' return from exile and the grief they share with their losses of children and loved ones through the exile. Uh, next week, we have uh, some wonderful poems to share with you. Larry Swetman has written some wonderful poems and prayers, uh, and it's a, a real treat uh, to share these with you all next week. So join us next week for a Holden Evening Prayer.